Hi, I'd like to talk about Xcode and auto layout. Okay, so I'm just continuing with the last project that we created, and this is just a simple um, uh, single view application created in Xcode. And uh, you know, in the last one, I created these these buttons and things here. I'm actually going to just delete all that now. And we were looking at the preview mode. I'm going to close this by closing the assistant editor there. And so here's where my app is going to be. And, you know, auto layout is a system that, you know, automatically positions the elements on the screen. And in order for auto layout to work, it needs a certain amount of information about each of those elements. And if it doesn't have enough information, it can't really lay them out. So this will be a long discussion over a few videos, and I'm just going to talk about some of the features. Once you understand it, the auto layout actually makes a lot of sense. It's kind of intuitive to a certain degree. Um, so for this example, let's imagine that you created a button. Um, I'm going to create this kind of button here, the regular one, the UI button. And what I want to do is I just want to create a big red button in the middle of the screen. Okay, and maybe it should say panic. Okay, and maybe I'll give it a background color so we can better see where the button actually is on the screen. Okay, so there's my button. And, you know, I can drag it around and you can see uh, um, Xcode gives me these, um, these guides. So if I drag it like this, you can see it's in the middle, right? And that looks pretty good. And if I go to the, uh, the preview mode here, you can see it's, it's not exactly in the middle on the 4.7 inch screen. This is actually the 3.5 inch. So if I, you know, maybe I'll delete this one and, you know, do the 3.5 layout. Oh, there it's in the middle. And if I rotate you know, it's not in the middle anymore, okay? So, you know, this really, you know, even though I placed it in the center here, it's it's not really in the center all the time, okay? And the reason why is this is sort of positioned absolutely, okay? It has a, you know, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate, and it's in that same X and Y coordinate no matter what screen you're on. So, you know, it, you know our box was actually a consistent distance from the left edge and a consistent distance from the top, but you know, and the width and height didn't change, but otherwise, you know, in order to be centered on the screen, you know, those elements would have to change, right? So here's how we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. So uh, auto layout has has a system of constraints, and by adding constraints to an object, you can say like, you know, certain criteria have to be met in order for that object to be placed on the screen. Okay, so one of the constraints that we can work with is called um, a vertical center and the horizontal center. Okay, so center constraints. <coughs> you can set the center constraints in a couple places. Um, they can be set here under the editor menu under align. Okay, and they can also be set down here on some of these little buttons at the bottom. For right now, I'm going to use the editor menu. So I'm going to click on my view controller and click on the button. And then I'll choose Edit, Align, and you can see here it says Horizontal Center and Container. So that's where I want my but button to be, so I'll choose that. And you can see that Auto Layout adds this, this orange line here. Okay, and this is the constraint. So constraints are really objects in the screen, just like these buttons and things that we add. Okay, they're invisible, you don't see them, but they actually are objects in the, in the software, and they have a manifestation here in, the, um, in, in Storyboard, right? So this is a constraint, and it's orange because it's not complete. So I don't have enough constraints to set the location of this, and they'll turn blue when everything's okay. So right now this is not quite okay. Let me go back to the preview mode, and let's see what it looks like. Oh, so there's my button, and with this constraint, you can see now it's in the middle, but the size changed, and it's all the way at the top. So Auto Leo is saying, like, hey, you know what? You applied a constraint to this, so I'm going to take over control of positioning this object and so far you've only told me that it should be in the in the center horizontally so auto layout says you know I don't have any information about the vertical position and I don't have any information about the height and width okay now the it sh does show a height and width and that's because the 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 button has an intrinsic size and when they talk intrinsic size what they mean is there's content in that element that sets the size so you'll notice that it's just as big as the text right now okay that's the intrinsic size okay so 
So how can we center it vertically? So I'm going to click on the button here again. I got to click it so that these little corner handles are showing, right? And then I'll choose Edit, Align, Vertical Center in Container. Oh, so now I get two blue lines. And so Auto Layout is saying like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy now because, you know, these two constraints make sense and I can position the object based on those. Now, I still have a problem because the size is not right. And it's not showing me an error here. But if I open up the little sidebar here and I look at the hierarchy view, you can see that auto layout, well, actually, you can't really tell it's auto layout, but you'll see there's this little yellow dot right there with a little arrow in it, okay? And that's a warning. So this is telling me that there's an auto layout warning, okay? And if I click on that, it goes over here and it says misplaced views, okay? So what it's telling me is it says like, hey, you know, um, I expected a height that is the size on the left here but I'm ending up with a height that's the size on the right and they don't match, okay? Um, and that's because we didn't tell auto layout like how big the box is. The box knows how big it is because we set it here, but we need to have a constraint for that so auto layout understands it, okay? So there's a couple ways you can handle that. Um, if you're here in, in the warning and you click on the little yellow, you know, warning triangle here, It'll open up and you can do one of, you know, three things here, okay? Um, update the frame, update the constraints, or reset to suggested, okay? So I'm going to choose the first option. It says update the frame. Now, the frame is the outline of the box, okay? It's the box that contains the element. So if I choose that and say fix misplacement, it's going to resize the box to the intrinsic size because that's what auto layout expects. Right, because I just said update, update frame. So that means update the frame to what auto layout is, is expecting it to be. Okay, but that's actually not what I want, right? What I want to do is I want to add a width and height constraint or change the constraints to match what I have here, right? So you can click on update constraints. And then you can see it kind of didn't do anything, right? And that's because I don't have a constraint for the width and height. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the box, choose Editor, Pin, Width, and then I'll click it again. i got to select it so the little handles are there. And then I'll choose Editor, Pin, Height. And you'll see in both these cases it adds a little bar with like a little T, like crossbar on the sides, right? And now you can see that the box is here, and it's got the correct size, sizes, and it's in the center. And there's no warnings here, right? And if I rotate the view, the box is still in the center, right? And if I switch to a different um, screen size, like let's say I switch to the 4-inch iPhone size, or maybe I had the 4-inch before, let's do the 3.5-inch, right? So you can see this one is it's still in the middle, and if I rotate it, it's still in the center. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, so there you go. There's centering an object with, uh, with constraints.